Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm back with the Yundu Y8 Android TV box. Now, this is powered by a Rock Chip 3399 chipset. Has a four core Mali T860, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, gigabit Ethernet, AC Wi Fi. On paper, this thing looks really good. I paid $118 out of my pocket from GearBest to get this because I wanted this chipset. I wanted this CPU in an Android TV box for emulation. I'm not that impressed so far. I did an unboxing video and a benchmark video. Came out okay. Benchmarks are, are decent for an Android TV box, but when it comes to real world performance, I'm gonna show you now. This is part two, dedicated to video playback. Let's get right into it. First up, YouTube. So this is a fully updated YouTube build off of the Google Play Store. And I'm gonna just go to one of my old videos. This is 60 FPS, 1080p. So choppy. And it's not because it's buffering. The YouTube app on this box is horrible. There is something wrong with the software. Now I totally believe that this CPU is very capable of playing all of these videos, perfect frame rate, but the manufacturers need to get their software right. Every video does this, no matter what the resolution, no matter what the frame rate on YouTube. So I have Netflix installed. Netflix works great, works perfectly, but it's the phone version, so you're not gonna get any 4K content or anything like that. I did install the Antutu Video Benchmark Tester, um, and it scored perfectly. The video playback on this device is not as good as Antutu is saying. So we got a perfect score on everything. I mean, normal. And we got perfect on a few things. 4K, they said it works great. HEVC, said it works normal. I don't think so. I've done a lot of testing with Cody and this box here. And the video playback performance is pretty bad. We'll go to ranking, TV. And when we look at this, we can already tell that this is pretty much like a rigged benchmark because the Shield TV needs to be up at the very top, not the Draco AW80. I'm just saying, I have an Android Shield TV. It's the best Android TV box on the market, hands down. And if you don't have one, that's exactly what you need to get. So next up, Cody. Now Cody and Rockchip don't go well together. Um, this is Cody Krypton 17.1. I tried a build of Pulse, a build of Apollo, and the Zero Tolerance build. All of them perform the same, very bad. This is software optimization. Like I said, this chipset has more than enough power to run all of these apps. Something's going on with the software. We gotta wait and wait and wait. Now I'm not gonna fast forward this. I want you guys to see how slow this actually is. Zero tolerance installed on my Raspberry Pi 3 works amazing. This is one of my favorite builds right now. I'm gonna go to TV shows. Better call Saul. I hit enter. 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 And we'll go to play. I've just had so much trouble with Cody in this box so far. It's pretty ridiculous for a $118 box. And they go on up to like 160. I got mine on sale. See what I'm saying? As soon as I get into some video playback, you'll see. I can't move my mouse now. There we go. 
I have not been able to play a video from Cody, at least the official Cody app, at all. A streaming video. It's just stuck. I can skip forward. It will show me the part I skip forward to, but the video will not play. So Cody, for me, is a no-go. If you have it working better, that's totally fine. But for me, I have tried three different builds, and it does not work like I want it to. I did install SPMC, and this goes pretty good with Rock Chip, but I still have trouble streaming movies. I have Apollo installed. This is the second build that I tried. I tried Pulse, and now Apollo. So I'll go to TV Shows. And I want to go to Specto. I am pretty disappointed that I spent $118 on this box. Now, if they do a software update, now that's a big if because these are Chinese companies. They get the boxes out, crappy software, and don't ever update them. A lot of the times they don't. So most popular, and I'm going to try to stream Better Call Saul Season 3, Episode 3, like I just did. Using Specto, but using SPMC. Season 3. And by the way, I use Apollo on a Chrome box in my room, and it works great. I'm running Libra Elect. It's an old Libra Elect build with Jarvis, and I've had it on there for like a year with no trouble at all. So we're kind of froze up again. There we go. We're going to try to stream this one. Now we got this thing. There we go. And as you can see, it does work. I tried streaming 4K, but the buffering was ridiculous. So SPMC does work, but it's a little slow getting into everything. So now it's on to internal storage video playback. I tried from a 3.0 USB drive, and I pretty much get the same performance here. I'm going to open up SPMC. I have a 4K folder in my downloads folder on the internal 32 gigabyte EMMC. So this is Big Buck Bunny, 1080p, 60 FPS, MP4. So I want you guys to keep an eye on the scroll speed here. Running from internal storage. Looks pretty good. We're definitely at 60 FPS. I did notice a tiny bit of stuttering. I don't know if you're going to see that in the recording. Sound works good. Pretty much dead on. The performance with this is really good. Spec out of this one. We're going to do the same video but it's 4K 30 FPS. Internal storage. Now I notice some jittery there, but that's not where it gets bad. Okay, 4K, 30 FPS, pretty good. They do claim that this box will do 4K, 60 FPS. Now that's one of the big selling points of this chipset. Let's see if that's true.
So I'm sure this is at a higher bit rate than it would be if you're streaming Netflix at 4K, but we can't get Netflix in 4K on this box. And the sound is way off. I can see it stuttering here. So really, I'm going to exit this. I'm done with this video. Um, not a good start with this box here for video playback. That's what these boxes are usually sold for. That's why people buy them. And it really sucks. Now, I'm sure with an update they could fix all this. But like I was saying, these Chinese companies throw these out and never update them. 99% of the time. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Um, don't buy this box. Do not. It's the Yundu Y8. If you really want one, I'll leave a link in the description. But I'm telling you right now, buy an NVIDIA Shield Android TV. Link is in the description. I've had one since it came out, the first generation. I've had no trouble at all. It will play pretty much any video format. 4K 60 FPS is beautiful. Like always, thanks for watching.